Hi everybody, stalking bugs, or pulling lures as a lot of people call them. Very productive on still waters. There's a variety out there on the internet. Or you could use your own imagination. Different coloured beads, different threads, different tails, different thicknesses of the tail. There's no standard make to it, and I've caught a great number of fish on them. Simple steps to make them, and I'll go through them now. So I'm starting with a size 10 hook and a 3.8mm bead. I do apologise for my voice, it's terrible at the moment. So using a 140 thread, start from behind the bead, halfway down, trim it off, all the way to the hook shank, and then all the way back. Once I've got it back, put a bit of UV resin on, hit it with a light, and that's going to be my foundation then for putting the material onto the hook. I should get myself a new brush because that one sees some action. Now your tail material can be anything. It could be pearl, it could be bronze, it could be a mixture of materials. You decide. And again the thickness of it. I like a nice big thick tail. It's usually about three times the length of the hook. But I tie this in, and then as I'm tying it in, I gently pull on the material so the end of it is just behind the bead. All we're going to do now is the laborious bit. I'm going to create a carrot shape, thin where the tail leaves the hook and just in line with the edge of the bead. And again, you're just going for a carrot shape. Take your time. If you build up too much on one part of the fly, just undo the thread. Just rewind what you've actually done. But what you're aiming for is a nice, smooth carrot shape. Once you're happy with the shape, just whip it off, cut off the thread and now decide how long you want the tail. As I say, I've got a mark on my vise, so I get a standard tail size for every fly. Again, the thickness of the tail is totally up to you, unless you're copying a particular pattern. Once I've trimmed the tail, I get a lighter and I just burn off any thread that may be hanging on the actual body of the fly, protecting the tail at the same time. What we do now, we protect the body, put some UV resin on it. I use Bug Off, I use Bone Dry, I use all kinds of resins. I apply it quite thick and then take off excess resin as I'm rotating it. I want it to be a nice, smooth body, every part of the thread covered. Take your time over it. There's no rush, it's your fly. And once you're happy with your application of UV resin, hit it with the UV light, hardening the body. Now some people do put a varnish on top of this, but that's totally up to you. I don't do that myself, I just leave it with the resin. Again, over time they will get chewed up, especially by the browns, but that's a simple introduction how to make a stalking bug slash pulling lure. They do work, I've had some great fish on them. Don't be afraid to scale it down to a size 12. I've caught many a fish on a small pulling lure stalking bug. But anyway, that's for me today, so thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you all later.